Okay, guys, this is a weird one. Weird? It's weird? So weird. Weird. I don't know what really it is. Really exciting. This is a strange haul video. So, a friend of a friend does online auctions of storage units, and I had spoken to them and told them if they ever run into fragrances, I'll take it off their hands with a money or with a fee, of course. So recently they did one online and they paid $650 for the entire storage unit and they won the auction is what I should say. And apparently there was fragrances in there. She didn't look at the fragrances. I haven't looked at the fragrances. I told her I'll pay $250 for the lot. And so I have the fragrances here in bags. So this is uh, fragrances, I don't know what the heck is in there, but there's bottles that she brought over and put here. And Dahlia and I are gonna go through them and tell you what they are and see what they smell like. Are you ready? So excited. <laughs> <laughs> we both love vintage things, so yeah. I mean, the person that uh, actually won the the auction, uh, they, they, she said that there was a bunch of dolls and Christmas ornaments and things like that, but there was all these bags of perfumes, and I said I'll take it. So I'm hoping that I have struck gold, and there's some really good stuff in here because $250 is not that much, but then again, it is if it's going to be all shitty fragrances. So we're gonna find out what they are coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian, this is Dahlia. Are you Hello. excited for this? I'm thrilled. Yeah? This is an adventure. Uh, do you guys watch Storage Wars? I've watched it a couple times. Do you watch it? I don't watch it, but I live it because uh, there's an auction house not far from the Bay Area or in the Bay Area and a flea market and mm. so, um, but no, I have never, I have never myself acquired a storage locker that belonged to somebody else. I'm so excited. Yeah. The only thing I'm fearing is I hope there's not a dead rat or a snake in here or a... But we agree that it would be great viewing for you all. So <laughs> we're doing this blind. Nobody knows what's in these bags. So what I'm going to do is first show you all the bags. Here's one bag. I'm gonna put them on the floor. Here's another bag. You can hear the bottle. I'm sure the crackling of the bag is terrible. Here's another. God, if I have enough space. Here's another. Here is this. I don't even know what this is. A bag. A bag of stuff. I think we'll start with some of the plastic bags first. Ooh, I hope I didn't break that. Here's another. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff here. Oh my God. Okay, I guess we'll start with this. Wow. All right. We're gonna be here for a while. Okay, guys. All right. Pause, maybe get yourself some water. <laughs> maybe get some snacks. Put on your comfy pants. Let's go. Let's go, okay. What do we got here? Mark Jacobs Amber. Have you guys seen this? I haven't. Have you, you've never seen this? I've never seen, I mean, I've, I know that he had fragrances like this, but I've never seen a big bottle like this. The perfume guy. Oh yeah. The perfume strips. Would you like to spray? I would love to. It's um, a substantial bottle. That is. This is a large. What does it smell nice. like? It smells like. Ah, not bad. Not bad. For that large bottle, I'm assuming it's an eau de toilette. It's not very like thick and dense. It is indeed. I can confirm an eau de toilette. Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's good to have you here with your eyes. I'm so happy to be of service. Oh, it goes in this box. So does this decant? No, it does not decant. I just broke it. No, I didn't break it. Um, it's nice. It's kind of sweet. What do we got here? It looks like an it Anique Squital. The old bottle from her. Yeah, it's um. It is eau de toilette as well. <laughs> um, you're gonna edit this, right? I'm trying to see what this is. It's an unknown bottle. It's an unknown bottle. I think the older bottles from Anika Tal had like a little tag that would go around the neck. Mm. And since this doesn't have that, we don't know what it is. I'm a fan of Anika Tal. 
I am too. And I have a rose in this older bottle design still. Oh. It doesn't look at it doesn't smell as good, but it's okay. It's a bit kind of what do you think? Weirdly fruity. Sort of citrusy. Cleaning product y. <laughs> um we don't need to spend a lot of time on that one. Okay. So here we go. Ooh, I haven't seen this bottle in ages. This is Prada. That is some 90s goodness right there, isn't wow. it? Wow, is it? Wow. Is it 90s or? I think 2000s. Lo Dombre. Lo Dombre from Prada. Okay. Ooh, I hope this one smells good. If it sprays. Yeah, the sprayer. <laughs> Stuck on your finger. <laughs> um, we're having a little bit of a sprayer malfunction. Uh, which may be why it was in the storage locker to begin with. What the heck? Whoa. Okay. Well, we're going to have to come back to this one. I can't even... Is that decantable? Like, maybe you could just get it in a... Nope. We'll come back to that one. We've got two bottles of the same thing here. I've got a heart. What is it? You've got a heart on? <laughs> it's Queen by Queen Latifah. Ooh, two of them? <laughs> <laughs> Queen by Queen Latifah. Okay, should we spray both of them? I've always wanted to smell Queen by Queen Latifah because I think it's supposed to be sort of like Angel. Mm -mm. Kind of very candied. It is can. Oh, I'm, I'm smelling the, the patchouli. Oh. It does have a similar DNA to Angel. It's the the oh, the top notes are very sweet Ooh. and candied, but that is very in that ballpark. Let's see if the other one is the same. Yeah, it's drying down. Okay, that one's good. So far, so good. Well, we can. There are two of them. Okay, what's this? Corso. Corso Como. That is retro. I remember I this. still see this fragrance selling at uh, Neiman Marcus. Uh, no cap. I think it's a sandal. It's supposed to have this most beautiful red cap. That was an interesting face, Dahlia. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this one's, this one's... Would you like to put this in a different category, like over by there? Were all of those good? Uh, that's the... Well, you could take the Anik Guital and put that... Where... Let's put both. Let's, let's put all of them there. Okay. No, this is not bad, actually. After it, I, I think maybe just the top notes have kind of... No? Mm. Throw it away. Well, I mean, throw it... On, th 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 well, yeah, you can just put the strip here. <laughs> okay, I don't even know what the heck this is. Nina. Is that Nina Ricci? Um, Nina Nina? It is Nina Eau de Toilette. It says Nina Ricci Paris on the bottom. Okay, let's smell it. The bottle is made in France. <laughs> okay, I'm getting peppery aldehydes. It's... I didn't <laughs> even need to get close to it. <laughs> That's not bad. It's a little grandma. But not... Whew. <laughs> what is this one? The alcohol is strong with Nina. Is that L'Air du Temps? Oh, I think it is. Uh, yes, it is. Oh, let's smell it. Also by Nina. Nina Ricci? The very same. Oh yeah, Nina Ricci for oh, sure. that cap is real sad. Hold on, I think you guys should enjoy this as well. <laughs> <laughs> it has gone flaccid. It, um, what, what, it works though. What is this? There's a ticket in here. I guess we know whose storage locker it was. Oh, customer's name. I... What's wrong? Oh. It's soapy. Once again, it's aldehydic. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, look at this. <gasps> Versace VS. I wore the men's version of this because it had baby blue and this is kind of like a fuchsia pink. Okay. Wow, this, this was like, I wore that in the 90s, not that. Should the, the... I be like putting these in categories? Like... No, it's fine. Okay. All right, you're going to figure that out another. The bottle has a nice... You can like, hold on to it yeah. nice? Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Candy-ish. Sweet. Ah. Kind of citrusy candies, like... It smells kind of masculine. It doesn't smell feminine. Maybe I didn't do a good job. Ooh. 
Well, now it's all over me, so. Okay, I see. I'm getting mint from it. Do you get the mint? It's kind of aromatic. Yeah, but sweet. Sweet? Yes. Look at this one. It looks weird. That looks like Anacatal as well. What the hell but is that? But with a weird little donut hanging on it. <laughs> donut? I think this might have gotten... Is that like a peace sign? I mean, it should be the fragrance name, but I think something spilled on it and there's nothing there anymore. It, um... What is that? It is a horse with no name. Isn't that a song? Um, it is. It is. Okay, I'm a little, I'm a little scared from that last one, but once more into the breach. Okay. Oh, this is nice. Really? This is really nice. This is a lavender kind of situation. Oh, I've smelled it. This is mandragore. Anikutal mandragore. Oh, wow. It's got patchouli in it. I like this one. Wow. This is nice. That's good. Yes. Okay. We're back. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look oh. at that. That is a bottle I've been wanting for a long time. Really? Ralph Lauren? This is a Ralph Lauren fragrance that I have not seen anywhere. This is, I think it's called Polo Crest. Oh my God. Let's smell it. Let's smell it. I have it been. It is called Polo Crest. It is? Yeah. I've been wanting a bottle of Polo Crest. Well, you got. Ooh, that's. Can you smell? Can that's you, nice. Can you look at the bottom and see if it says Cosmere? Oh God, it does this say is Cosmere. so good. It does say Cosmere. Oh my God, this is pre-L'Oreal. Oh my God. So this is worth the whole. This is it, right? Here. Okay. Oh wow. And that's wow. the end of the video. Oh my God, that smells good, girl. That's really good. That smells so that's really, good. Okay, that's a that's a. Well, do you think it's worth two hundred and fifty dollars? I have to look it up. On price wise, online. I mean, I think there's three at least in here that three? are like. Okay. All right, let's grab another bag. Sorry about the plastic. Situation. Oh my god. Gio. Armani, G Giorgio Armani Joe for women. Do they even make that anymore? Uh, they make Aqua Di Gio. Gio. Mm. This one I get candy. Very, but like like um, praline, like caramelly kind of. Like fruits caramelized with like chocolate sprinklings. It's very sweet. There's also aldehydes in there, I think. It's better than than it was. It's sweet. It's sweeter than I would generally go for, but it's interesting. Oh my god! I wore that in the '90s. I remember wearing this and listening to The Prodigy. Liz Claiborne, is that? <laughs> yeah, it's Curve by Liz Claiborne. <laughs> listening to The Prodigy, that's a, that's a picture you're painting. Oh no, that is awful. Oh, it's gone bad. I think, I think it might have just been the sprayer. It's not that bad. <laughs> I mean, you said the same thing about the Corso Como. No, that's gone bad. No, I like the Corso Como. You didn't like the Corso Como. Well, you thought it had turned because the initial spray was with the Oh my god, cute little bottle. This is another Liz Claiborne. I, it is. I, I was going to say, it, I what's recognize it called? this. Um, this must be the Liz Claiborne I bag. I think it is just Liz Clay's Claiborne. That's all it says. Liz by Liz Claiborne? Or just Liz Claiborne. That's a Both cute names. bottle. It is. It is. Very cute. Um, all right. Oh, no, no, that's turned. <laughs> yeah, look at that face. Oh my God, look, we got another. Didn't we already have one of these? We did have a Nina <laughs> of the Ricci. Do you want to spray it again or do you yeah, want to maybe, assume it's the same? I mean, I'm sure it's the same smell. It was a peppery aldehyde at grandma, soapy. right? It was soapy. It was soapy grandma. Yeah, but I mean, it's probably better on skin than on mm. paper. Aldehydes kind of are weird. Whoa. Whoa. That'll put hair on your chest. This one is more peppery than the last one. Yeah, that one's very greasy. The alcohol is strong. Wow. Let it be free. Oh my god, I remember this. Realm. This is not the men's realm. It says it's women. It's woman on it. I, I wore the men's realm. 
Got in the early 90s or mid 90s? Wow. Oh my god, look at that strip. It's red. <laughs> like the bottle color. I don't remember what the woman's smelled like. What does it smell like? Not much. It's very like blood though. Look at the color on that. The sprayer's Oh, kind that of. is nasty. It smells <laughs> like cough syrup. Oh, gross. What's this? Fiore. Fiore. Is that Carolina Herrera? It is. Look at that. That's a vintage looking bottle. I don't even remember that fragrance from Carolina Herrera. Me neither. And it is... Um, there's no like date or anything, but it says Barcelona. That's exciting. Okay. I've been to Barcelona. I haven't. Reaction? Mm -mm. More like cookies. Oh my god, it's very tuberosey. Bananas and tuberos. Maybe it's the bananas. I think it, it is bananas. It's, it's ylang, it's ylang, like ylang I think. Baked it's, goods. You've, you've got cookies on your mind. <laughs> Tis the season. <laughs> oh boy, what is this flashy bottle? Summer cocktail. Um, is that Givenchy? Huh? It says irresistible, very Givenchy. Okay. Summer cocktail? Is that what it said? Mm hmm. Do you like Odete, summer? Eau de summer fragrance. Floral oh. aromatique. That's fresh. I'm surprised it hasn't turned. Fresh fragrances turn fast. The mint is strong with this one. Wow. Would you wear that? I can't wear mint. It's so bad on me. Oh. Mm. Why? I know, it just gets nasty. But that's good. I mean, it's a nice, lovely, summery. Ooh. Look at that Chanel. I think it's a Chanel, right? It needs a clean. Oh, gross. We're going to need a shower after this video. <laughs> um, There's no. Ooh, but it's cocoa. Oh, but thankfully it's not, uh, no, no snakes or rats or anything Yet. jumping out of it. Wow. That has major color. Damn. <laughs> That's, oh, it's kind of turned. Sorry. Oh God, it's bad. It smells like bubble gum that's gone bad. Weird. I thought that was supposed to be patchouli. Oh, I, I wore the male version of this fragrance really did. I remember this bottle. I remember this being in drugstores. This is Cl this Claiborne again, right? I don't know. It is... Um, yeah, it is Liz Claiborne. I love that bottle. I remember wore the men's, like, two different bottles uh, in the late 80s, early 90s. Could be the very early 90s. No. Something's gone bad. Yes? Let's just give it a second. It's, um, fresh. Potent. Potent freshness. It smells tropical. I don't know what that's supposed to smell like, but it's very, like, kind of burning the hair out of the inside of my nose. It smells kind of like Rue Cambon from Chanel. I don't know why I'm getting, oops. Okay, that bag is done. Oh. Okay, another bag. Whoa. Whoa, look at this one. <gasps> Ooh. Lancome. Yeah. What does that say? Oh. Eau de Lancome? Oh. Eau de Are you a fan of this one? I don't know this one, but I'm hoping it's green. It looks like it it's should It's very be. green, it looks, at least the color of the juice. Right. Does it smell green? Does it smell good? Does it smell bad? <laughs> it smells like an alcoholic beverage. Like some sort of a cocktail. Like, oh. like a cocktail that a mixologist made with random herbs. Very green. Mm -hmm. Very herbal. Very alcoholic. That hasn't gone too bad. No, I think once it's kind of aired out a little bit. No, it's, that's but it's it, it's like a what do you call it when they macerate the mint and the mojito. But it's not mint. But it's like it's got that kind of mintiness. Ugh. You don't like mint. I I like mint. Mint doesn't like me. Do you guys know this one? I wore this one in the nineties. Romance men. I don't know this one. This is a lot of memories. Oh, the memories. Has that gone bad? No. No? No, but it is very 90s. 
Oh. Yeah, it's turned. You think? Well, I'm not sure if it's turned. It just like, you know how it gets old? It doesn't smell it's as good as like... weak. Yeah, it's... Hmm, I've bad. been categorizing the bads on one side and the acceptable on the other side. More Lancome. Lancome Poem. I remember my cousin used to wear this. I don't know anybody who ever wore this. Oh my god, it's like tuberose. But like that weird kind of bubblegum version. Bubblegum, yeah. Mm -hmm. It reminds me a little bit of Amarige. Oh my god! What? Look at this bottle! I've wanted this so long! Did you? What is it? It's Mont Blanc. What is it called? I forgot the name. Presents. Oh my god, that is such an amazing bottle. It does need cleaning though. It does it need cleaning gross. though. It's gross. But I mean, it is a cool sprayer. Right. Oh my god, I, okay, let's hope it smells good because I've been wanting a bottle of that. I, I, that's one of my favorite bottles. Should I be separating the ones you're really excited about? Ooh. Oh, good. Okay. This is good. Right. Oh my god, love it. Oh wow, it smells good. It's minty again. But it almost reminds me a little bit of Mont Blanc's Individuel, but minty or aromatic very version. Very minty, very bright, kind of bracing. Cool Arctic. Love that. Okay, but so for two fifty, you have the Ralph Lauren that you're so excited about. That's true. The Mont Blanc. The Mont Blanc. You have that lovely purple one from Anna Catal. Oh yeah, Mandragore. That one's good. And you've got um, the Queen Latifas. Oh, the Queen Latifas. <laughs> oh my God, I wore this one. What is this? I wore this. It's an Armani. I wore it probably. The early 2000s, like 2000, 2001. Oh what a retro. Card. They had the women's version and they had the men's version. I bought it from Macy's in downtown San Fran from Barbara, who is no longer with us. Barbara. Oh no, that's <laughs> awful. It smells like mold. It is nasty. It's moldy. <laughs> it, it's turned. Okay, this one says Givenchy Hot Couture. Hot. And it's totally full too. How good is this? I think we should temper our enthusiasm. I literally can't smell anything. I like I can't actually smell anything. Oh, I can smell. Okay. It's it's kind of sweet and um Candied, mm -hmm. kind of almost going in the direction of Hannah More, something sweet and candied from her. It's got jasmine, raspberry dew. Oh, this uh, this actually smells good. I mean, it's not like turned it's or anything. Very light. It's very kind of sheer. Oh my God! Look at this. I remember this bottle. What is that? Tuscany. Though? Is that uh uh um. What's her name? Tuscany Perdona by... Laura Biagio. Well, it's Aramis, which is crazy, but... Um, it says Aramis? Aramis on the bottom, but I don't think that's who it's by. It's distributed by Aramis or something. Okay. Tuscany Perdona, but yeah, if there's a brand, I don't see it. Oh, it is Aramis, because they have Tuscany Por Uomo. Aramis does. My dad wore it. So they had a women's version. The sprayer's kind of trash. Oh. Um, I didn't know that Aramis had women's fragrances. It's aldehydic. It is indeed. That cold, kind of metallic-y kind of... I mean, we the all of the aldehydes that we're making fun of here, the Nina Ricci's and this, like, we would have to put them on skin to really get any kind of sense of what they smell like. Really? I think so. I don't think you can tell. Aldehydes just smell metallic and cold. Mm. They smell fizzy to me. Okay. What's this? It is such a mess, by the way. There's paper strips, like, all over the floor. Bijan. Bijan. Why does it have this thing on it? I would I guess assume it's a because it's a tester and it's thrashed. Is it um, for men or it's, it's women's, right? It um, doesn't say, but it's distributed by Beverly Hills. Uh-huh, yeah. Or in, or something. Okay. Um, let's see. 
There's a definite theme. This is peppery once again. Yeah, there's a theme of... Is this somebody's collection? Well, I mean, what else would be in a storage locker? This actually smells really good. It's... it's... Wow. And it's a cool bottle. Wow. That smells fantastic. I would wear that. Let me get some. That smells really good. So that's at least five that you're genuinely excited about. Ooh. It's, this is men's. This has got to be men's. Smell it. That's really nice on you. Wow. I mean, are you sure you don't want me to put things aside that you're most excited about? Okay. Okay, what is this one? Oh my god, I don't even know what the... F I almost said an F word. I, I saw that. It's basic black cologne. Is that Bill Blass? Um, I remember that. Bill Blass. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> I remember Bill Blass. Didn't he do something with Cher? Okay, sorry guys. That's really gross. It is gross. Okay. I don't know if this is going to happen. Oh. oh, it's spraying. There you go. Making sounds, but it's spraying. Yeah, something something bad happened in this perfume's history. This is... It smells like a Francesca Bianchi fragrance. Does it really? Oh, a little bit buttery. A little <laughs> bit like praline situation. Interesting. Basic black. That smells like a Francesca Bianchi fragrance. <laughs> Were you super excited about either of these? Not, no, not the Versace, but maybe the Armani is nice. Okay, but like in the super exciting No, time? it's not super exciting. Okay. Look at this one. Jessica, Jessica McClintock. McClintock. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. I remember her white shoulders. Is it white shoulders? No, that's Elizabeth uh, Taylor, isn't it? Oh, maybe you're right. I don't remember white shoulders. Well, I thought it was her. <laughs> <coughs> oh. Ah. Wow, that's gone bad. Oh, is it bad? It's a kind of desserty bad, though. Girl, you got dessert on your mind. Okay, but tell me there hasn't been like a burnt caramel dessert theme in addition to the peppery aldehyde. Yeah, we theme. got peppery aldehyde. We got mint. We've got burnt. Whatever this is that I just sprayed on. Oh yeah, the Bill Blast or Bijan. Look at this, it's Gucci Envy, but not the men's. I really want the men's. I don't care for the woman. Oh, I don't even know, I remember what the woman smells like. It's Gucci green, Envy. green sparkling, top notes, floral transparent heart notes, and sensual base notes. Who's sensual base I'm notes? I'm just telling you, it says, it's just... Sensual bad. base notes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awful. <laughs> Um, yeah. Okay. Hugo XY. This is a tiny little bottle. Ooh, it's a tiny little bottle. Literally. It's wee. It looks almost new. Aside from being half used. <laughs> but it's like shiny. Like a lot of the bottles have been Oh, I fresh. think it's because uh, they kept it in this box and I think it didn't... No. Hmm? It's kind of like a mojito. Mint cocktail. It, we'll, we'll put, I should have categorized them by which trope they are. This in. is like late 90s, early 2000s. I think mojitos were very trendy back then, so they were trying to make so many different fragrances smelling like mojitos. I'll go with that. Okay. You were excited about this one. This oh summer. my god, this is heavy. Okay, okay this but is, like, seriously. This is mostly like, women's fragrances. Oh, boo hoo, listen. Right there. That's your $250. Okay, okay, good. Is this another Jessica McLintock? I have never seen this in my life. It is hot couture. Oh, white, it's Givenchy. White collection. Givenchy. Okay. Eau de Parfum. Eau de Parfum, wow. Made in France, 100 mil. Givenchy's gone through a lot of fragrances. I mean, this I person, never saw these fragrances. What the heck? Um, well, good sprayer. It's ice cold. Very aldehyde -y, but like nothing else. Plastic. 
smells like plastic to me. But it's a cool bottle. Look at that, like, what's that called? Intaglio or something? Is that what it is? When they do is that? Is that a peacock? It's not. It's a silhouette of a, a dress? lady person. Oh, okay. Oh boy, look at this. It's a vintage bottle of Kalesh from Hermes. Well, I just recently bought a bottle of Kalesh, the, re the recent formulation. Um, oh boy, it's, it's squirting out brown juice. And that's in your bloopers reel right there. Mm -hmm. Does it smell like aldehydes? Mm -hmm. It's become, aldehydes have turned into brown sugar. Yeah, because Kalesh is a brown, I mean, it's a, a aldehydes. Oh my God. Oh, de, dinamisant, is that what it says? I'm not. Sure. This is a, a fragrance from Clarins. I stayed at a hotel once in Rome uh, called the Malia Hotel, like 10 years ago, 11 years ago. And they had the products of this uh, collection in the room and everything smelled this fresh orange blossomy. Oh no, it's not spraying. Damn it! That's actually a vintage bottle. Look at that, because they don't make bottles like this anymore. It does look sort of clinical. Oh, damn it. Look at this one. Oh, I remember this. 212. Is it Perry Ellis or something? It's Carolina. Oh, Carolina Herrera. Oh. Do they smell different? 212. I, I... Is that an area code? <laughs> what does yours say? 212. Okay, maybe you just get... Are they, di are they different? I don't know. Maybe it's... It's a cool bottle design. Very kind of oh. ck one kind of fresh kind of... Oh, it's very fresh. Reminds me of a Gap, the Gap fragrances. It's a lot like that, yeah. But it's a very like 90s kind of... Very 90s. Yeah. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Hmm. Excellent they under, both... underrated decade. This is uh, the second one. Yeah, I thought they kind of smelled the same. Yeah, they do smell the same. <laughs> oh boy, what's this? Oh. Very feminine bottle. Um, it is. It says De C de la Nina Ricci. She's back. She's back. Back again. Nina Nina. Nina Nina. Truly do not think I've ever smelled anything other than Laird Dutton. Really? What was the first one we got? The first Nina we got? It was just we called Nina, two, right? Yeah, we have two of this one. It's um Nina? Nina Ricci. Oh, this is, oh man, that smells like cough syrup turn. That's awful. It's not. It's oh. not <laughs> that we've smelled yet. Laura Biagiotti, Venezia. Venezia? Venezia? I'm sure it's Venezia. Do you know this one? I don't. That's a beautiful bottle. I feel like I remember the ads for it though. In the 90s. I wish I had a cap because the bottle is beautiful. I'm a sucker for nice looking bottles, aren't you? You're not a sucker for this, I can tell. <laughs> but I really want you to smell it. Is it boozy? It, there's a very strong alcohol content, but it's like wow. a desserty kind of, like a, what do you call it, after meal dessert wine situation? Like in one of those cute little aperitif kind of. But there's an underlying marine layer in there, like that smells kind of funky. There, well, I mean, Venice is kind of water based. Mm, maybe that's what it is. This kind of flooded. <laughs> oh, I remember this bottle. I gave a bottle of it to my mom, I believe. This is Donna Karen, isn't it? I think this is Donna Karen. Is that cashmere something? It is cashmere mist. Okay. You are amazing. The, the sprayer is... Not working? It's just not good. Oh. Oh, it's not bad. It's not bad. Ooh. She, she got dropped by Estee Lauder, oh. by the way. Oh my god, that's awful. <laughs> There are several that really we should just immediately put back into a bag so that you don't have this experience again. I have separated them. I have segregated the bad okay, ones. Okay, okay, good. You want me to give you a bag now? Um, we'll, we'll do it after. We'll do that after. Ooh, I, I did mention Hanamori, and this is a Hanamori, but I don't know which one this is. That was bad. That was really bad. <laughs> okay. This is Noah, number four. Number four by Hanamori. Okay, so it's got bergamot, black currant, one word. With no C. B L A C K U R R A N T. Okay, black currant. Yeah. Black currant. All one word. Marigold, orange blossom, wild strawberry. I'm oh. gonna hate this. This is a fruit. Tonka ball. beans, tea rose, toffee, white peach, sage, 
benzoin, patchouli, and vanilla. They put all the notes on there. All of them. Usually they put like three and that's it. <laughs> this must be a tester in the cheat sheet for the sales it, associate. It does say, yeah. Huh. I can smell the tonka beans and some aromatics, but it's not as fruity as I thought it was going to be. Really? You don't get that wild strawberry? It's not that good though. It's not good at all. No. <laughs> what the hell is this? That's... That's a thing right there. That is one ugly bottle, I have to say. That is disgusting looking. It's, I don't know what they were going for with this. <laughs> I think this is a men's fragrance. It does not look like a woman's. Don't spray me now. Ah! I'm not, I'm not. I'm trying, I'm just trying to figure out like what this is. Cause there's nothing. Don't cut on... your finger now. Yeah, okay. I do have a little emergency kit, but don't cut your finger. I would prefer not to. Like we, we can't tell you anything more about this because. Is, is that P for Fat Farm? Oh. Uh, is that what it is? <laughs> I don't really know. I think this. Does anybody know? Show the show them the P. I think that's Fat Farm. Do they even exist anymore? I don't think so. Maybe you press this button. <laughs> um, look, this this isn't this isn't very well made. Um, there's a lot of it, but it isn't very well made. I don't. I think we should, for the sake of this video, move forward. Put because... it aside here with the ones that don't spray. <laughs> Oh, this is a cute little bottle. Oh. Oh, I know this. This is, um, um, is this Chloe? It is. I think it's Chloe. Narcisse. Yeah. You know this one? Yes. Do you like it? I don't remember liking it, but that doesn't mean I haven't grown and changed as a person. Mm-hmm. No, I still don't like it. It's, <laughs> it's, but it's, it's a, like, white oh. florally kind of alcoholy. This is, like, white flowers and amber. But it's that, that very, it's that very kind of a heavy fruit version of... Fruity amber with lots of white flour. And then there's a bit of a bubble gumminess in there too. It's not bad. Not bad. But I wouldn't... My opinion hasn't changed. It's called Manifesto by Isabella Rossellini. Oh my god! Oh my god. You can't even find that fragrance anymore. Are you excited? Yes! It's, it's, it's like... There's just some celebrity fragrances that have come and gone that you can't get anymore. Maybe there's a reason. <laughs> Maybe there is. Is this the reason? This smells like a mint mojito once again. It's very fresh. It smells good. Are you excited about this? Does it go in the extremely excited pile? Yeah, put it in. Yeah, that's, that's good. But I just wish it had a cap. None of these have the ones that are good. Yeah, that's good. Okay. That has not turned. I'm surprised. What's this? Tommy. Hey, Tommy. Is this Tommy girl or Tommy boy? Tommy Hilfiger for sure. And it is just Tommy. Tommy two-tone. See me. See me? Hear me. What are you humming, girl? The who? The rock opera? Oh. I'm not surprised you couldn't tell. I couldn't tell. That's not my... It's not where my talents lie. Oh, oh, <laughs> God, that's nasty. Oh, that goes in the trash. Oh, and oh. this is one that brings back so many memories. I wore this in the late 90s or was it in the early 2000s? This is Contradiction for Men from Calvin Klein. Mm. Oh, my God, I would love to have a bottle of it. I'm scared, I'm scared. Oh no, oh no, no, no! Ah. Oh, what's this? Armani code for the woman. But which version? Like 12,000 different versions of it. Um, it says... <laughs> so, so small. It doesn't say anything. It just says Armani code. With lace on it? Is that what that is? Lace? Mm-hmm. It does say for women. And, yeah. um... You're not going to smell it? I'm going to let you go first. Oh! It's powdery. Mm. Seems like it's kind of turned a little bit, but not all the way. Yeah, no, it's very light and mm -hmm. soft. Soft powders. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't remember if this is the man's version or the woman's version, but this is Mambo. Hey, Mambo! Remember Mambo from Liz Claiborne? I do not. I don't remember if it's men or women, though. What a weird little... Is this supposed to be like... Where does this come off of? Oh no. 
We have so many bottles with no cap. We're going to have to do some research. <laughs> I'll put it aside here. It definitely doesn't come off of the Mambo bottle. Oh, I think I know what that one's for. It's that uh, tall... Oh, me, I don't know. Remember. We'll look it up later. No. I mean, it's fine. It's okay. I don't... I just... And this is a fragrance I wore, but this is not the fragrance. This is powder. Oh no, I don't want to open this. Mm -mm -mm. No, this is powder. <laughs> I don't want that. Oh my God, here's another big one. Oh my God! Whoa! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Okay, so that's jackpot. I mean, I hope these are good. This is jackpot. You think? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> think, think about how much you paid. Think about how much Chanel Parfum costs. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. They're going to fall out. Um, uh, I'll do this part. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, my God. There's so many of them. Yeah. Sure. I mean, I know how you feel about dabbers. Do you want me to dab? No, you go ahead and dab. and Because I am i don't got no place to dab. I mean, I'm just hoping it smells good. It doesn't... Oh, which one is that? Nineteen. Oh, I love that. That's the uh, uh, that's the galbanum. Yeah. And this is Coco. Coco Noir. <gasps> Coeur d'Alene. Oh, you wanted Coeur d'Alene. I did want that. Okay. And then we've got really good Jersey. Jersey. Somebody corrected me recently and said it's not pronounced Jersey, it's Jersey. Is that really true? I'm not French. I'm not French either. But What's this? Allure, Allure by Chanel. Bois d'Isy by Chanel. Chance. Okay, yeah, this is totally. Yeah. This is totally. I think you've made your money. <laughs> um, but like, I These think are like what, 300 each? I think so. They're all parfum, pure parfum, and I think we should be very careful in how we handle this bag so that none that's, of the little stuff. That's exciting. Good job. That's exciting. All right. Wow. That's amazing. So this is in the exciting pile. We need to pause so that we can address this situation. Okay, I'll pause. Okay. Okay. <gasps> That's uh, real polo. But we can't spray it. We can't spray it. We're gonna need to get a sprayer, but does it say Cosmere under there? Because Cosmere is pre L'Oreal. Those are the good ones. Pre bad reformulations. Cosmere. Oh good. Okay, I'm gonna have to find a sprayer for that. Oh man, this one brings back memories. I wore this so much late 80s, early 90s. And oh wait. What? Does it say aftershave there? No, it says Alfred's song. Oh, okay, good. I was like, oh no. This is a powerhouse 80s fougere. It smells so good. It smells really, really good. But, uh, but are you like excited about it? Yeah, I am. That one's definitely going to be a keeper. I don't know about the polo. We'll have to spray it, but let's try this one. Hilfiger. I don't know what it is. What does it say? Athletics. Help figure athletics. It's a cologne spray. Cologne spray, okay. I see they're not all women's perfumes. Okay, yeah, we've got men's here. <coughs> oh, it smells like a stems of a plant. But like also very like... Plasticky. You know how you buy plastic flowers and you smell it and you think there's a smell there? It's very, it's, I can't put my <laughs> finger on it. It's not that it smells like Axe body spray, but there's something very locker room kind of like teenager about that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, look, 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 look. Love Bowling Green. Oh, this must be a vintage one. Yeah, because I, I just recently bought one during the pandemic and the bottle does not look like that. I mean, the It's the distributed label. by Jacqueline Co Cochran? Cochran? I don't even know who that is. Ooh. I think that the powder thing that has gotten over several other... Okay, bottles. 
Nice. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. Wow, it's like a green forest. Mmm. Mm. That one's a score for sure. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that. I absolutely love this bottle. It's Horizon. I've been dying to get a bottle. It is Horizon. It is? Yeah. Oh my god. I love this bottle. It is almost full as well. Oh my god. Well, I guess this is... If it smells good. I know it's an aquatic or marine, but it's a fruity. Not bad. That's pretty good. Yeah. Good. Wow. What's this? Sex sexual? Sexual. Sexual. Look at the accents. Sexual. Sexual. Cool. It is by... Michel or something? Michael... Mi Michael Germain. Germain, okay. Wow, impressive. Cute little cat. I remember these, this brand at the uh, Macy's. Well, way back in the 90s and the 2000s. Oh. It's very metallic smelling. It's not sexual. Oh, it's at not all. that. It's not sensual, but it is. It's sexual, but not sensual. It is neither, but it is not as bad as. It you smells said. like locker room to me. I can't. Deny Literally, that. all the lockers in the locker room. It, it's, <laughs> it's not the worst thing we've smelled today. Uh, no, it's not. What the hell is this? Surface? Is this another Aramis? I remember it. It is Aramis. Oh wow! I never got to smell this collection. Okay. It's a tester again, isn't it? Um, it is. All of them are. Maybe this person like had a department store gig. For all these brands? I don't know. Wow. It smells like watermelon. Doesn't it? Yeah. Cucumbers and watermelon. And it hasn't turned. It's very fresh. It's very watery. Very watery, yeah. Do you want that in the exciting pile? It's a good one, but I'm not sure if I'm excited. Just leave it in the exciting pile, I guess. Well, I'm running out of space in the exciting pile. Oh, darn it. Okay. Okay, look at this piss-colored uh, dune. <laughs> it's gross. I, I recently bought a new bottle. It doesn't look that color. That's, that's nasty looking. I don't know what it's going to smell like. Probably fine. Mm. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Well, what's this? It is not going to work. This Dolce & Gabbana. The One Gentleman? Is that what it says? It does say that. Oh my god. Boss by Hugo Boss. Oh my god. Look at how much oil there That's is. That's crust. It's gotten crusty. You guys can see it too. You know how the little kid, then when they have a runny nose and they haven't it really cleaned it. It is a little boogery. <laughs> That's gross. Uh oh. I think... It, it's it turned. Needs, but it needs to open. It it's might, turned. But it might be okay. It's not vinegar. But it's opening up. Yeah. It's funny. This was one of my all-time favorite fragrances for a while in the late 80s. Mm -hmm. As a high schooler, I worked for a dry cleaner. All the businessmen dropped off their, you know, laundry shirts, and that's what it smelled like. It's opening. It's not, it's not, all that's is good. not lost. I bought a brand new bottle of that like a year ago. It's and very concentrated. What the hell is this? <laughs> Okay, I, I get, I... What is that? <laughs> I think the cap is missing. It says... <laughs> it's a gross looking bottle. I don't have anything nice to say. I'm trying to save this and I, I can't. It is part... Your expression is priceless. It is Parlu <laughs> Fragrances. Can we just call this one and just, do we have to smell it? No, I don't know. Because I don't think we even can. It says OP on it, so it's Ocean Pacific. Okay. Candies man. Are you a candies man? No. Never was and never will be. Oh, this sprayer is dead. Oh. That's bad. Ooh, it's, Ew, on it's me. leaking on oh, you. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Do you want something to. Oh no. <laughs> here, wipe it on here. Thank you. <laughs> You dealt with a little leakage. Yeah, more than a little. <laughs> FC UK. What did you just say? <laughs> I'm not doing it again. <laughs> what did you just say on, on camera? <laughs>
Um, I think it's just called Him. By F C U K. Yeah. By F U C K. No. Okay. <laughs> this guy is over. Um, French Connection UK. Yeah. They used to have a store here in San Francisco. Closed, like everything. Well, way like 20 years ago, it closed. Oh, that almost sm smells like Diorum, Parf Diorum Intense or something. It's powdery, like a cross between Prada, Pour Homme, Dior Homme. Yeah, that smells good. That smells good. I'm getting like a, maybe, oh, maybe I have that marine stuff all over my hands. Candies for men. So you're excited? Yeah, I'm, I like that one. Like you like it? Like you're excited about it? I'm excited about it. Does it go in the exciting I, pile? Yeah. Okay. It smells good. It smells really good, except for the ugly Ocean Pacific crap. Are we even in the home stretch? We got one bag. We got two more bags to go through. Okay. This looks like a... Ooh, wow. The Diva fragrance. Paloma wow. Picasso. <laughs> that's... That's... I feel like this... Is there a white circle? Is that that one? This is Paloma... This is an old... Yeah. This is very vintage. Vintage-y or... Oh plus. my god. Oh, it's squirting out like colored residue. Don't say things like that. <laughs> Why? I don't know if that if this has survived the test of time. I think I might need to spray some more. Oof. It's kind of good and bad at the same time. I mean like the sprayer is working. It's got like residue on there. Yeah, I don't No, that one's gone. What is this thing? Ew, here's another piss colored Burberry touch. Mm. Oh, look at this. Fred Heyman, I think, right? Bar I mean, oh, it's sticky. <laughs> oh. It is Beverly Hills. Ooh, another one. With residue. This has got to be white flowers. Mm -hmm. It is. Oh. But not bad. But kind of that bubblegummy, heavy, heavy again. Reminds me of the 80s for sure. Oh my god. But not bad. What's this? It's a pretty bottle. Jess. I bet you were back to McClintock. Oh, Jess by Jessica McClintock? Is that what it is? I yeah. Would, yeah I would. It is. Whatever happened to her? There's a lot of white florals in the air right now. <laughs> like I'm, a lot of, there's like, there's a lot of white florals I'm in the air. seeing shoulder pads and Joan Collins and Crystal Carrington. <laughs> Romping around. You say that like it's a bad thing. It's <laughs> not a bad thing. I used to watch that show. Oh, this is kind of a fresh something. I don't know what. Floral, but musky and. But it's also like the alcohol content's really high again. Like yeah, it hasn't I'm getting. I'm, dr I'm getting drunk smelling this stuff. <laughs> oh, this is cute. Very cute. It's like a little genie bottle. Ellen Tracy. Is that what it is? I only kind of saw. A peak. Uh, I think it's just Alan Tracy, Eau de Parfum. There's nothing else on it. It's sticky though. Ew. Let's not dwell. Ooh, good sprayer though. Good sprayer, yeah. Huh. This is in pretty good condition. It's spicy. This is good. Yeah. Well, I'll put it in the exciting part. Okay, yeah. What the hell is this? There's a big M on it. Mariah Carey. <laughs> Mariah Carey? I've never smelled a Mariah Carey fragrance. Um, what's that? Have you? Uh, uh, I'm sure I have. <laughs> okay, let's smell it now. But I remember her bottles being a little more... That looks like kind of a boring bottle for Mariah Carey. I mean, it must be just a tester. I can't imagine Mariah Carey, but it does have the little butterfly. Oh, it does? Okay. What's that Christmas song that... Oh, yeah. What is this? Uh, mm, it's very sweet. Yeah. I don't care for These that. fragrances, a lot of them have lost their kind of sheen or the, their excitement. They've just kind of gone flat. And, but this one's kind of opening up. It's very sweet. It's sweet, though. Ooh. Ew, what the <coughs> hell is this ugly bottle? There's a thing at the bottom. Oh shit. Oh. 
This is, um, this is really ugly. <laughs> Sorry. What is that? I don't know, but you have to like press a lot of buttons. Oh, I see. Maybe don't spray it on me now. <laughs> well, but then somebody's gonna crave you. Crave by Calvin Klein. Does anybody know this one? I remember when this came out. I think this is another lady. I mean, it's like a weirdly technical bottle design that's not making me crave it. Okay, I'm I guess gonna, we... I'm gonna put that in. Tribu. Is that Benetton? It's probably Benetton. Tribu? United Colors of. I remember that bottle. I remember color. Colors? colors. Yeah. Oh, that's nasty. Ooh, it's got like a fishiness about it. Ugh. 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 Oh, I just bought a bottle of, is this ginger essence from uh, Origins? Origins? It is. I just bought a bottle of it. <laughs> well, now you have two. And this, I bet, is... This is nice. Really? It's really nice. Oh, wow, it's zingy. Oh, spicy. I read a lot of comments somewhere that the new version of Ginger Essence has been reformulated. It's gotten watered down. This smells good, though. Mm -hmm. That smells really good. Okay, that's an exciting pile. This is a Cartier, I believe. It is. And it is... Bizer? Volet. Bizer Volet. Uni Extraordinaire. An exceptional lily. Okay. Fresh, floral, and powdery. Wow. All of those things at once, huh? Look at this. Okay, wait. Enjoy. <gasps> Ooh. There's like strings stuck in there. We're not going to focus on that point. Well, hopefully you guys have been enjoying this video because we're almost getting to the end I, there. I truly think they would have left by now if they're not. <laughs> I mean, only only the devout are still hanging out. <laughs> this is actually really good. Is it? Wow. That's a white flower. It's, you know, it's not like Le Mediterranean at all. But it's lily is what but I'm it, smelling. It, but it says lily. But it's very like clean, clean, clean. And lilies are usually very heavy. Mm. Maybe it's a water lily. Maybe. Are you very excited about that? That one I am. Does that, is that, okay. Yeah, that one's good. Can you pause it and I'll move your excitings to the floor so that I can have- Here, I'll move them. Okay. Look at this. Jessica. Another Jessica. Number three. Number three. She's like run out of names. Okay. Ooh, strong spray. Not bad. Very fresh. A bit leathery. Oh my God, it look at this. It started to turn though, also. It's kind of very strong alcoholic. Calvin Klein? Contradiction for women. Ooh. But it's... Need something here. I don't even know how to smell that. I don't know what to do about that one. It's very secure. Oh. It's a dabber. Do you, should we even bother? Mm. Do you want to know in the name of science? Yeah, let's know. You do that so well. Years of experience. Dabbing all the way. <laughs> oh no, oh no, all that for that nastiness. Oh, I threw it away. I didn't even think of uh, having you smell I, I, it. I really respect you protecting me in that. Oh, that was nasty. Okay, we've got just one little bag of stuff left. It is a bag of, I don't even Ooh, know but what. they're in their boxes. Look at that. What's that? That's beautiful. Mm. I don't even know what it a is. A dozen roses. Okay. Does it smell like Portrait of a Lady by any chance? I'm sure it doesn't. It says Shakespeare in Love, A Dozen Roses. Okay. Um, Shakespeare in Love. Is that Distributed by 360 Degrees Incorporated. Whoever that is. I'm going to go with this is not promising, but I could be wrong. I'm being judgy and shame on me. It might be amazing. Well, let's show that beautiful rose though on there. It's beautiful, I think. And what's on yeah. the back? I'm not, it's kind of a fresh, light, slightly green rose. 
It's not anything exciting. Maybe it's like a dozen tea roses. <laughs> okay, what's this? Electron. Electron? Yeah. More. Oh, it's the same. It's very kind of techno, like 90s techno. It is very 90s. Uh, yeah, Electron, a dozen roses. So maybe Shakespeare in Love is the name of that other perfume. Oh, okay. And Electron is the name of this. And so it's a green. I'm I've a never even heard of this brand. A dozen roses? Yeah. Me neither. Oh, does that mean they have a dozen fragrances that are all do roses? Maybe. I mean, Electron also has a rose on it. This is kind of a candied rose. I don't care for it. I actually like this one better than the Shakespeare in Love thing. Yeah, I didn't really like that one either. But. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, look. We... There it is again. This one looks like it's kind of gone. Is, it, is that how it's supposed to be? I, I do. Amber Queen by A Dozen Roses. Okay. Amber Queen. Amber Queen. Are you the Amber Queen? No. I genuinely can't smell anything anymore. <laughs> As you say that, I'm like, there's something there, but I don't know what it is, I, but there's hardly anything there. You know, like, I, it's nice that these are in their boxes. Um, Never heard of the brand. Apparently, I Sing the Body Electric is not the Margaret Richmond theme song. It is a quote by Walt Whitman. Okay. The poet. Okay. I did not know, but it's on the back of this box. Oh, another one! This is the last fragrance, guys. Okay, good. This is the last fragrance. I'm sure Dahlia's had enough. I've had enough. This is called Gold Rush. Is that what I'm saying? Yep. Gold Rush. I'm, 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 I don't feel that we've ended on a high. Oh, that's a bummer. Well, we're going to go over the, the good stuff we've, yeah. we've discovered. I mean... Unless this is going to be ending on a high. I'm not holding my breath. I, I, I'm not holding my breath either. These all smell the same. This is boring. I mean, there's a reason we haven't heard of a dozen roses. <laughs> um, oh man, we are not ending on a high note. No, but you know what? I wish this one worked. It, well, you can play around with it. It might. Maybe I just couldn't do it. And it seems to be coming off on... No, A is not working. Okay. And then this ugly thing, oh my god, that is hideous. Oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very flawed design. And this? What the hell but is this? But these were all ones that we couldn't smell. Plastic? I don't... Okay. We're going to focus on the positive. What do you Let's think of that? Let's recap. Yeah. So, somebody bought a storage locker for $650. Correct. You bought... $250. $250 worth of like plastic bags full of bottles of perfume. There's no rats that came out of it. There was nothing. No snakes, I, no bugs. That I saw. And we've been very thorough. So um, there have been some misses. The many misses. There have been some misses. Um, but for $250, you got. Bag of Chanel. Parfum. Each of which is over $300 retail, right? Easily. So that's I don't know two, how old these are. We haven't even smelled them. Four, so six, seven. Okay. Which is... 3,000? You can be the math lead for today. I mean, three times seven is 21. So, so 2,100. And they're... Yeah. So let's go with that. And they're vintage, which people are excited about. Sorry about the plastic noises, but we're just going to go with it. This is really exciting. And it smells really good. Polo Crest. That's a win. And then the, the vintage Bowling Green from Jeffrey Bean. So Looks good. A little worse for wear, but they both smell really good. This is exciting. Horizon from Aramis. Oh my god. Score. That is a score. The Mont Blanc. Amazing. Mm -hmm. The rest of them. You were really excited about the Bijan. No, the Bijan I'm excited about. I'm just not excited about the cap. <laughs> I'm sure you can get one online or something. But that smells good on me. Mm -hmm. The um, ginger. ginger essence. I think this is a vintage bottle because the, the new one I bought seems thinner. I'm surprised how good the FC UK for him or him smells. Just him. Um, the Sung Ohm smells really fantastic. Mm -hmm. Now, the Boss, I was not 
happy with the initial blast, but it, but it got better. It did. Mm -hmm. The manif is it manifesto or manifest? Manifesto. Manifesto by Isabella Rosalina. I'm surprised it's kept in good condition because it's a freshie. Mm -hmm. uh, this Bizer Vol for women. Really okay. yummy lily. The Mandragore. I think this is Mandragore. What's that on the side? Not for sale. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mandragore. I think that's what it is from uh, Anique Guttal. Smelled great. Lovely. And then what was this? Ellen Genie Tracy. Ball. Ellen Tracy. We really like that one. That one smelled good. Yeah. yeah great sprayer. That one smelled, yeah, I think, I mean, and then the polo, did I mention the polo? We don't know if that one's I have, good. I'll have to pull a cap off of my old one and put it on this one to see. But both of the Ralph Lauren's are Cosmere, which a lot of you that know vintage fragrances know that Ralph Lauren used to be under Cosmere. They went to uh, L'Oreal, L'Oreal butchered the fragrances. So I'm hoping this stuff is going to be really good as well. That's good. Congratulations. $250, I think it was well spent. I Especially for this stuff yeah, right here. I think, I, think you're, I think you're fine. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm you fine. You did well here. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the storage locker, storage room, storage locker. I don't even know what they're called. Storage, storage wars, uh, fragrance hall. The exploration of this hall. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, uh, do let us know. Thank you so much for coming and doing this Thanks video. For having me. This was Did you fun. enjoy it too? Yes, although I don't think I can smell anything now anymore. <laughs> I think my nose yeah. is done. My nose is nose my blah, blah, blah. my nose is my mouth and my nose and mouth are done. All we're all done now. <laughs> good to good to be back. Good to see everybody. Um, yeah. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Or I don't know when the school will go up, but maybe over the New Year's or after New Year's. But either way, guys, thanks so much for watching today. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And you can also follow Dahlia at The Perfume Dahlia. On Instagram. Have a good one. Bye. Bye-bye.